Hello everyone, welcome back to FX021. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you uh, how to make the uh, particle effects and the smoke smoke uh, effects here in Unreal Engine 5. So let's get started. So we will already have the JSON file portal, uh, uh, the Houdini file in, uh, input inside the Unreal Engine 5. So this is the Houdini Niagara system and uh, now I'm going to teach you how to input this okay so you can right click and uh, under effects you can see the Niagara uh, system so just choose Niagara system and then you can select new system from select emitters and next so here you will find some default Default ones come with a rail, but if you install the Houdini plugin correctly, the Houdini Niagara plugin correctly, you will find uh, you will find the Houdini Niagara basics here. Okay, so let's click that and click Add here and finish. So now you have the Niagara system. And you can name it Portal. Okay, maybe portal tests so double click to get inside so you can see here this is the uh, the default particle effects come with the Houdini Niagara plugin and we can replace that so uh, the default one you can see here this is the Houdini point cache which is the same as our portal JSON file okay but this come uh, with the default, so we want to replace that with our uh, pothole point cache. So let's go to the emitter spawn, uh, uh, emitter update. So here you can find our pothole, click that. You can see it's still like the default particles because they have three files need to be replaced. One is in the emitter update and another is in the particle spawn. So here as well, pothole and also particle update port. Now uh, you can see nothing in the viewport. It's because the P skill attribute in Houdini and uh, in Unreal are different. So now let's uh, adjust the P skill in Niagara system so we can see it in the viewport. So this is like the uh, pop network in Houdini. Uh, we can see it because uh, the p-scale is really small so we need to scale it up so in the particle update we need to type scale uh, sprite size so the particle in uh, Houdini is a point but uh, the particle in here is a sprite it's like a texture on a grid so we need to scale the uh, sprite size here okay so once you have the scale sprite size you can see uh, they have the X and Y, so you can scale the X coordinates and the Y coordinates as well. But uh, in Houdini, the P scale is a float, which is uh, not a 2D vector. So we need to convert that 2D vector to a float. So we can type uh, a float, vector 2D front float. Now you can see we have a single value, which is just like our p skill value. So we need to link that value to our Houdini p skill. So let's type Houdini p skill. You can see here is the p skill. Okay. And before that, let's go back. We want, uh, because the p skill are different so in Houdini and Unreal, so we want the p skill value to multiply a constant value. So we want to multiply float so we can use this value to control the size of our particle. And this is linked, uh, the A value is linked to our Houdini P skill. So now let's go, go here in the type P skill. Now this is linked, we still, can't, uh, we still can't see anything in the viewport. Now let's increase the size here. Maybe here. much yeah 
So let's try 20. Uh, 30. Yeah, now you can see it's uh, in the viewport now, just like what we see in a Houdini. Uh, but they don't have color, so we also need to uh, uh, import the color inside a row. So in the particle update here, uh, we want to type color. Okay, so default is white. You can change it to uh, blue, green, anything you like. But uh, this is the Unreal color. We want the color from our CD attribute from Houdini. So let's do that. So here in Unreal, you can see the show advanced uh, arrow here. So click that. So you can see the skill color here. Uh, basically, why we don't use the color to link to our CD attribute is because they have the alpha value, which makes this uh, vector four. Okay, our CD attribute are vector three type, so we want to use uh, the skill color to link to our uh, to link to our CD attribute, and we also want to have the ability to control the intensity of the color. So let's multiply vector by float so for this value we can control the color okay and the vector will link to our cd attribute and cd attribute will multiply the alpha uh, the color 111 so it will not change so link that to the cd uh, you need to type houdini and find color so now you can see the color here are exactly the same as uh, in the Houdini and you can change the float here to make it more shiny okay skew alpha as well yeah so that's basically how you make your uh, particle import particle inside Unreal and then you can just drag and drop okay into your scene so next we can talk about the smoke so for smoke in Unreal Engine, make sure you have the texture input in, uh, not here, it's these textures, and then you need to create a material. So this is the smoke material. This is the texture we export from the Houdini. And what I do is take the RGB color and multiply the particle color. So you can change the particle color in the Niagara system and change the smoke color. So it's not completely white. So you just multiply the RGB to the particle color RGB and plug that into the emissive color. And then uh, take the alpha, multiply the particle alpha and plug that into the uh, opacity, okay? And here you also need to change this to, I think, uh, unlit. Just copy the parameter here. And once you have that, you just create an empty uh, Niagara system. And here uh, in the sprite render, you need to make sure you select the material you just created. It's a material uh, smoke 3. Uh, and also one thing you need to notice is, is the sub image size. So basically it will play the uh, texture from left to right, from top to down. So the 11, 11 is uh, 11 multiply 11 is our texture size. So it's uh, 11 smoke texture in a row and 11 uh, smoke uh, texture in a cup. Okay. So make sure you have that 11 and 11. And as well, you want to uh, have a spawn uh, particle in the emitter state. You just want to spawn one particle and on that one particle you will apply your material on it okay so you only want one particle spawn and one thing you need to make sure is the loop duration is exactly the same as your houdini smoke loop duration okay so it's five seconds so it will loop uh, can uh, it will loop your smoke and loop behavior and you set to infinite so it will not stop and here you can have your color so because we have the particle color here so it will read the color from here and multiply your smoke uh, 
will multiply your smoke color. So if you make it purple here, so the uh, this one will be purple as well. And you will have the sub UV animation uh, also apply in the particle update. So make sure the start frame is zero and end frame is 121. Okay. And make sure you have the particle link to normalize age. So that's how you create a smoky array. And then you can just drag your Niagara system here. So uh, also one thing I want to say is that you can uh, use uh, only use the texture so you know in a row you have the sub uv uh, animation i think so i think they have a sub uv animation node in a row and uh, you can apply that and then it will loop your uh, loop your textures and then you can apply that on a grid but uh, the downside of that is uh, you can see the particle system, these brights are like moving with your camera. So you can see the smokes uh, rotate. Okay, so if you're like, let's see, if you're in uh, this angle, the smoke is still like uh, facing at you. So it's uh, faking the effects. But if you're using a grid, then it's not rotating based on the cameras, okay? So you can use both ways, uh, depends uh, what you like. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.